Hi, I'm Rob. Hi, I'm Sherry. And this is our cat, Lily. This is Cinder. We've got the truck. We've got the trailer. And we're ready for our RV travel quest. Hi guys, this is Rob Scribner from RV Travel Quest. And we finally got a video out to you guys. It's been a while. And uh, wanted to thank everybody for the great support while we were moving into our RV. So the last week has been amazing. Um, a lot of work. So just to kind of briefly go over what we did. We went from loading a lot of boxes in our apartment on Thursday. On Friday, Sherry and I both took our day off from where we work and uh, loaded up a lot of boxes and boxes and boxes. The next day we had a moving crew come in and it was three people with a, a very large truck and they loaded everything from our apartment and our garage and during this process we were we threw away a lot of stuff and we took things to the goodwill and get, uh, took care of that too and uh, so we tried to reduce as much stuff as we had but we have a possibility that we may have to go into a house again for um, future business reasons and uh, so we don't want to get rid of all of our stuff we just want to store it so the big thing is we live towards Seattle well we chose a storage unit up in Anacortes Washington and the reason we chose that which was uh, 50 miles away is the prices were much better if in Seattle you're looking close to two hundred dollars as opposed to the same size of storage that up in Anacortes for hundred and fifteen a month so we had everything shipped up there and we put it into a 10 by 20 storage unit which we're sweating bullets to make sure we got it in there but it fit had a wonderful moving crew and our fifth wheel was actually up in Anacortes too because remember before we used our fifth wheel as a vacation home <clears throat> so we had to move it from Pioneer Trails RV Park up in Anacortes the following day so we spent the night up there took the RV the next day down to Bothell Washington which is closer to where Sherry and I work because we haven't given up our jobs yet um, remember I'll be retiring soon <laughs> um, and then working full-time for RV Travel Buddy and RV Talk Radio and so the next day we moved we uh, on Sunday we had and I'll show you pictures here this whole RV was stuffed full of boxes of stuff we wanted to keep in the RV and distribute throughout the RV so we spent all of that Sunday putting th taking things out of boxes and putting them in the RV and figuring out where to go and what the best processes were. That's not an easy thing to do. The following day after that, <laughs> we had to get up early, <clears throat> hook up the RV, take it down to Bothell where we're at today, set up the RV, and after that, um, relaxed a little bit for an hour went back to the apartment and we had to clean all day so on Monday which was Labor Day weekend we ended up cleaning almost all day long um, getting our apartment so we you know we don't get fined or you know, get some of our deposit back <clears throat> so since then the following day got up for work uh, kinda just everything's been strange because everything's different the process is different I think the biggest shocker we've had since we've moved into the RV is uh, getting our processes down for work. Um, and I think it's been a little disruptive for the, the dog, uh, Cinder. You guys all know Cinder. She normally um, is fine in the morning. We get her uh, ready for work and she's great all day and stuff, but she's not all that good in the RV yet because she never looked at the RV as home. So we had to make sure we did everything identical that we did in the RV uh, in the apartment. So she knew the pattern that Sherry was going to go to work. After I get up earlier, so Sherry's the last one to leave. So Cinder knows that she needs to be quiet all day. So just to be on the safe side, we put a bark collar on her um, to help train her. 
and we'll do that throughout the week and then eventually take the bark collar off of her. Uh, the cat, she's fine. She just thinks this is awesome. <clears throat> the big thing we've noticed already is uh, uh, putting, making sure we put things away. <laughs> we don't have a dishwasher anymore. People have been really friendly. We're able to get one of uh, a great interviews coming up in RV Talk Radio. Uh, the people here are just outstanding. I've met more people in this week than I ever met in my apartment for the three years we lived there. <clears throat> so uh, we're uh, we're excited to get back to full time RVing. So uh, that's our report. Um, I'm obviously in the RV. Uh, we have. Uh, um, we, I'm putting together, we're just now getting our equipment put together, we're getting the studio set up, a green screen uh, where we can take it up and down in the uh, RV, and we're also uh, getting our studio set up for the podcast uh, for RV Talk Radio. So busy, busy week still, we got lots of things to do. Um, we love your comments, we love your feedback, give us ideas of things you want us to talk about, uh, some of the problems that we've come across going from regular house or apartment to this uh, we are using our normal we have normal nine to five jobs right now and uh, we just kind of leave it at that for now so I want to thank you very much for your support and all your uh, good wishes that we've been getting and please take the time to subscribe to our videos at RV Travel Quest and also if you get a chance can you like our video we'd really appreciate that and if you could share our video and tell people about our story, because now it's going to get quite interesting, because now everything we do has to do with RVs. Um, this, um, we're no longer using a studio. So, once again, thank you for watching. I'm Rob Scribner from RV Travel Quest, and have a great day. Bye now.